guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel fashion is Audrey here aka Matilda and today I'm going to be doing closet essentials for a killer bomb as hell wardrobe so I meant to do this video at the beginning of the year like January but I'm just getting to it now. As they say, better late than never. I am here, I am ready to give you the wardrobe of your dreams. So closet essentials or basics or staples are generally items you should pick up just to have essentials to build outfits with. So I'm going to give you my 10 10 die hard basics that I think if you have them, you can be able to create literally tons of outfits with them. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. So closet basic number one is a white t-shirt. So mine's a bit wrinkled. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that. She just came out of the wash and she needs a good iron. I literally wear this 24 7 most of the times so when I'm picking an outfit. I don't know what to wear I always gravitate towards a white t-shirt the one I have here is Amazing because it's quite opaque, which is very difficult to find with white t-shirts I picked this one up from identity store at Garden City it came in a pack of two for $34 and this other one is a basic striped tea and I think you can pair this as well with a lot of outfits but today I'm going to tell you you need to invest in a white one a white t-shirt goes with anything in case you want a very basic outfit but you want to look good reach for a t-shirt jeans sneakers you're out the door you can wear this with a skirt you can wear this with dress pants and make it casual you can wear this with jeans and high heels and make it official there is literally probably 10 million outfit combinations you can do okay maybe not that many but you can do a lot of outfits with just a white t-shirt as your base you can wear it under a very occasional dress which is something i've been doing lately a lot like wearing a very BAM dress and then toning it down with a t-shirt. So I think a white t-shirt is an amazing basic to have. If you don't have one yet, make sure you pick it up and you will never regret it. You might regret dating your current boyfriend, but getting a white t-shirt? Mm -mm, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> the second thing I think every girl should have in her wardrobe is a good pair of black jeans so it doesn't matter what cut you get if you like boot cut if you like skinny jeans if you like mom jeans whatever jean type you like just make sure you have a black one and i promise you you can never go wrong with black jeans you can wear this with your white t-shirt Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can wear this with a nice top just to make your outfit seem very put together. You can wear this with a t-shirt, wrap a flannel around your waist and you have an outfit. So yeah, black jeans are my favorite thing ever. And these ones I picked up from Wrangler. They're Wrangler jeans but I thrifted them and they were still quite expensive. But they're so good, I don't regret it. They are beautiful and I love how they fit. So make sure you invest in a good pair even if it makes you spend a bit more coin I promise you you will get your wear out of them and they're going to last longer so definitely consider that when buying a pair of black jeans the next item on my list is a dark wash denim jacket in my case I have a black one but you can pick it up in a dark blue navy blue whatever color tickles your fancy I mostly pair this with jeans and a nice top sometimes jeans and a t-shirt and also one thing I like doing is wrapping it around my waist so there's this particular oversized t-shirt if you have been here for a while you have seen it a lot lately and it's this pink oversized t-shirt and what I do is I wrap this denim jacket around my waist it just cinches in my waist a bit more and also helps cover up the area in case um, <laughs> the t-shirt dress rides up which mine tends to do a denim jacket has some edginess to it but you still look quite chic which is a balance that is sometimes difficult to find but in case you feel like you need something i suggest a denim jacket in a dark wash color and you will never regret it and for my next basic along the same lines i'd say pick up a light wash denim so i know it might seem a bit too much to have two denim jackets but i feel like this two 
two denim jackets completely change an outfit differently. Like when I want to brighten up an outfit, I put on the blue denim jacket and I feel like this goes with a lot more things than the black one, which is weird because black goes with everything. And sometimes you just want to add a bit of coolness to your outfit. So it serves the same purpose as a black denim jacket, but I think that this one lightens up an outfit, adds some edginess to it at the same time without looking too over the top. I also wear this with dress bands sometimes, just to make a formal look look very casual. So make sure you pick up two denim jackets, one in a very light wash color. You can even get a yellow one if you feel like that color suits you better, or red, pink, I've seen pink denim jackets and I think they look so beautiful. So yeah, light wash is something you'll never go wrong with in a denim jacket and I think every girl should have this in her closet. And if you don't agree with me, take it up with my lawyers. The next staple that will change your life is a black dress. This one is a bodycon dress I got from Mr. Price ages ago and I love it. I love this thing so much. I especially love that it doesn't have cleavage, so it's very conservative, but then it is quite short. Not like super short that you might be seeing my organs as I'm walking, but it is a decent length that I love. And I feel like it looks so chic with just a pair of sneakers. It looks very casual. You look sexy, but you're not really trying too hard. I also wear this with a denim jacket sometimes when I want to feel a bit cool and edgy. So as you can see, I'm pairing the basics together to create outfits which is essentially what you want sometimes I tie a flannel around my waist because I think that looks quite chic as well and sometimes I wear this dress as a top because it's so conservative I'm able to get away with it looking like a t-shirt sometimes which is good because that means I don't have to buy a black t-shirt I can just use this as a t-shirt and I'm good to go so I think a black dress is good for so many reasons you can make so many outfits with this so yeah I definitely believe that the black dress is an essential that you should have so make sure you pick one up the next time you go shopping and you will be a happy girl so falling back to jackets I had to mention a moto jacket I know mine is in a very out there color which is this beautiful golden color but I love the fact that this is velvet and this jacket is just so beautiful I pair this with jeans all the time and it tends to make a very casual outfit look more glamorous than it is and if you don't want to get it in a velvet like material you can get it in leather oh my goodness I think it looks so good in a leather like when I see a girl wearing a leather moto jacket I get so excited I'm actually on the hunt for a leather one because I feel like yes this one is amazing but a leather one would also be a good addition so I feel like this style of jacket complements a lot of body shapes you can pair this with jeans you can pair this with a dress and sneakers you have so many outfit options when it comes to a moto jacket and I think that's why every girl should have one this one was thrifted from Stradivarius and it is in a size medium I like my jackets a bit bigger I rarely get a small which is my actual size because I like them being a bit bigger with longer sleeves but the size you get is obviously all up to you but I definitely think every girl should have a moto jacket it's something you will never go wrong with any day it's gonna show up for you it's gonna be there for you unlike your ex-boyfriend the next item on my list is a good belt. A good belt can be worn so many ways. You can wear this around your neck as a necklace. No, I'm kidding. So anytime I feel like an outfit is missing something, I just add a belt to it. I have a bit of tape on the side of my belt because this belt does not sit. So when I close it, the tape just helps it stay taut. That's a trick. You're welcome. This belt I got for $10 from Identity. If you are in Nairobi, go to Identity store. They do have some very good items. They can be a bit pricey sometimes, but the quality of their clothes hasn't disappointed me yet so I definitely recommend them but yeah I just add this to an outfit what I've been doing of late is adding this to a blazer and belting the blazer 
with jeans and I have a going out outfit. I've actually worn that to date night. You can also add it to your work clothes just to have a pop of something. So in a case where you're wearing a black dress and a blazer, just belt it and it looks like you are so put together. You know your shit, you are ready for your day. A belt just makes you look like a boss bitch in my opinion. So you can never go wrong with a belt. Most people don't think of belts when they're buying, like when they're shopping for clothes, but I think you should get a good one. You will never go wrong with it, I promise you. The next thing I think every girl should have in their wardrobe is a classic button down shirt. I'm actually wearing one at the moment and I have a pink one. I have them in a lot of colors actually. And I picked most of them up when I was working. I worked as a cashier at a bank. But yeah, I have a lot of button downs and for the longest time I used to think, oh, I'm just gonna wear them to work and that's it. But I have been loving incorporating them into my casual outfits. And one way I've been loving wearing this particular pink one is wearing it to the pair of jeans tucking it in on one side, folding the sleeves. As you can see, they're still folded. I love folding my sleeves. I think it just adds some pizzazz to an outfit. And I am out the door. It seems very formal, but not. You know what I'm saying? So it seems like, yeah, I'm here for business, but also pleasure. Which I'm not particularly sure why it's a message I want to convey, but I've been loving it. And I also have a silk one that I pair with shorts sometimes, jeans. I love, love, love a classic button down. And in case you're afraid of color, just get one in white and you'll be good to go. The white one I have is quite oversized and doesn't fit me quite right, but a good button down shirt that fits you so well, you cannot go wrong with it, I promise you. The next item you should definitely have in your closet is a pair of very good dress pants. I got this pair from Mr. Price. I actually have it in black and blue. This is a black one. I have one in like navy blue. For dress pants, you can dress them up just wear a tank top and a blazer and you have a going to the office kind of look. You can also wear this with a t-shirt, denim jacket and sneakers just to make it a bit casual. And you can even wear it with a sexy kind of top, like a corset top, just to add some element of sexy to this look and make it more casual. And I think dress pants should be in your closet because they're so versatile. You can make them official, you can make them casual, depending on what you're going for on that particular day and that's something that I admire in a piece. And once you find the perfect pair of dress pants, you are basically sorted for life. Just saying. My last and final essential item for your wardrobe. I think any woman should have a blazer. It doesn't have to be oversized. Mine is oversized. The power of a blazer is literally beyond anything. You can pair this with a casual outfit just to make it seem a bit dressy. You can pair it to the dressed up outfit just to complete the dressiness. You can pair this with a dress and belt it. You can belt it on its own just to make an outfit. The number of outfits you can curate around a structured blazer is literally endless. I think just having that structuredness brought about by the blazer makes any outfit look elegant, classic and timeless. You can have it in either white or black which is what I have. I have a black one and I genuinely promise you it will not let you down. Having a blazer will save your outfits. You will have days where you feel like oh I need something to this. Throw on a blazer. Throw on a blazer and you're good to go. When you need your outfit to come through the blazer will come through for you. I promise you. Anyway whoa okay I'm now a bit chilled. Anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I thought it was essential to do this video mostly because I've been getting people asking me how do you put outfits together what is your process and I feel like if you have a few good pieces you can definitely mix and match them to make numerous outfits so you don't need to have closets and closets and closets full of clothes with a few items you are on your way to stylishness don't know why I said it like that but anyway guys thank you so much for watching hopefully I catch you in my next video. Until then, bye.